Howdy. Here we are working on the siding for the tiny house. Putting some stain on today. I'm using this stuff that I found on discount at the home store. It's super deck log home oil finish. It's got linseed oil in there and mineral spirits, tongue oil, and some UV protectants that aren't exactly organic, but I think it's pretty good. Probably be all right. So I'm just gonna roll it on here and show you what it looks like. Get these butt ends right here. All of the edges. Make sure the wood soaks it up completely. Don't leave any dry spots. This side is the rough finished side. It's gonna face the interior. It soaks up a lot more stain than the other side. Sanded smooth finish. Gonna resaturate my roller. And I'm just using a regular old painter's tray to put my stain in. This roller I've reused from yesterday. The update, not yesterday. I'm trying not to waste a bunch. Just really not sure how far it's all gonna go. I got two of those five gallons. Soak up any of the extra, or at least spread it around, make sure none of these spots are dry. Looks pretty good. You can see that really brings out a real nice color in the board. It's an amber tint, but it's very transparent. So you get to see the grain. I think it's gonna look really nice on the house. Now I'm just gonna flip it over. You can see how much smoother this side is. I'm going to roll it on. Just brings this nice honey color out in the wood, the cedar. Found this cedar siding on Craigslist probably almost three years ago now. Way cheaper than it is now. So, hopefully, I'll have enough to do the whole house. I calculated it out and gave myself an extra 10%. I think I might use some of that Japanese wood burning, a yakisugi or something, that's, I think it's called. That might be a 
noodle dish. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. So there it is. Real pretty. And then it's got you can see there's these all these little bubbles in there from the roller and I'm just gonna take a paper towel. I think I can use one I've been using already and just kinda wipe down the excess and then all those bubbles will break and they won't they won't dry like that on the surface. I only need to do it for the smooth side. The rough side can stay like that. That's all there is to it. So I'm going to keep doing that. I got it. That's only a 16th of the pile I got up in the barn. And I'm going to have to... Actually, that first pile has a number of boards that I stained last week. I want to build another one of these racks and get some friends out here and try to get most of them done in one shot. And then I still have to put... Still have to put the rain screen material on. I'll make a video about that a little later. And uh, yeah, that's what's going on here at the tiny house. So, hope everyone's having a good time and let me know if you have any questions. Peace out.